Hi, this is Deborah Smithy, Certified Professional Midwife. My website's MissouriMidwife.com. My blog's more than just a midwife.com. Today I want to talk to you about sore breast and mastitis treatment. So this is for breastfeeding moms. Um, when you have a sore spot on your breast, it might be hot, there might be a red spot on it, and it's sore, full, it's sore or painful to the touch. Um, that is not necessarily mastitis, but if you don't take care of it, it can become mastitis. So, say so you have a sore spot on your breast. You need to increase the frequency that you nurse your baby. Nurse, nurse, nurse. Nursing helps to move the milk through the breast so that you don't have older milk sitting there causing um, a sore spot, possibly later becoming an infection. Um, when you're nursing your baby, you want to make sure that before you take the baby off of the breast, you always want to use your finger to break the suction. If you just pull the baby off the breast, then you might end up causing the sore breast to get worse. And I'm not talking about sore nipples here, I'm talking about sore breasts, okay? So let's see, um, allow your nipples to air dry. Go braless if you can, wearing just, n just loose clothing over your breasts, um, or go topless for a little while each day to try to help keep your nipples dry. Um, you can get into a hot shower and massage your breast. So say if this breast was sore and you had a sore spot on it, you'd wanna massage the breast with the palm of your hand, pressing the milk inside towards the nipple and just let that milk run out in the shower. That could really help. Now mastitis is a breast infection. It could be caused by staph or strep bacteria. One or the other is the most common cause of mastitis. Um, so if you have mastitis, not only will your breast be sore and tender and hot, you will also feel like you have the flu. Chills, fever, body aches, possibly nauseousness and throwing up. Really, you think you've got the flu and your breast is hurting. Um, if you've recently had a baby, meaning within the last three weeks or so, you've had a baby, you need to rule out a uterine infection. You know, ask yourself, do I have lower abdominal pain? If so, you need to call your doctor or midwife to make sure it's not a uterine infection. Also, if you just had a baby, did you have a tear or an episiotomy? If so, that could get infected and could also cause flu-like symptoms from that type of infection. So. If you have any foul-smelling discharge, um, could be a, a uterine infection or an infected tear or episiotomy. And then you need to call your doctor, midwife, right away and get that checked out. Don't just assume it's a breast infection when it might be another type of infection. But let's say um, your abdomen is not, is not tender and it's, there's no way it's an infected tear, then you can pretty much rule it down to it being a breast infection called mastitis. Um, follow all the same recommendations for sore breast, and then we're going to add some extra treatments to get rid of mastitis quickly. Um, rest. You don't need to be running out to the store all the time, running the kids around to their various practices after school. You need to, like you have the flu, you stay home. Stay home, lay down, stay in bed or on the couch all day. Um, supplements. Every four hours, Take one or two garlic capsules or tablets. Thyme, that's an herb, T-H-Y-M-E, one capsule. Vitamin C, 500 to 1,000 milligrams. Grapefruit seed extract, get it in the tablet form. Take one tablet with a little bit of food and one quart of water. That's every four hours, all five of those things, every four hours. That's going to fight the infection, and get rid of it. Um, you can also use hot compresses on your breast. So hot, wet washcloths or a, or a wet washcloth with a, with a waterproof heating pad over it would be a good choice. Um, if you're going to use a breast pump, you can. Go ahead and pump two to three times a day, but make sure that you're sterilizing those breast pump flanges after use every time so that you're not getting bacteria on the flange and then reintroducing that to your breast every time that you pump. Um, another um, remedy is to get some raw cabbage, peel off one of the cabbage leaves, put it on the breast. 
It can go down inside of your bra or just right on your breast. Um, if you're not better in 24 hours, I mean significantly better, I recommend that you go to your doctor, walk-in clinic, or emergency room um, because mastitis, if left unchecked, can get worse and worse. It can lead to a breast abscess and it can lead to, lead to scarring in the ductwork, which makes you more likely to get another mastitis and another mastitis afterwards. So I usually say hit it hard with all of these steps for 24 hours. And if you're not significantly better in 24 hours, go in, get a prescription for antibiotics. Now, I don't push antibiotics. I don't use them for most um, most situations. I don't even recommend antibiotics, but if it's a mastitis and it's been going on for more than 24 hours with all of the treatments that I've just told you and it's still not getting better, then you need to go ahead and wipe it out. Remember, if you've taken antibiotics, then you probably need to go, as soon as you're done with your full round of antibiotics, get a good probiotic and start taking that to rebuild your intestinal flora. Um, but 99% of the time, I can get mastitis to go away without antibiotics using these steps. So remember, increase the frequency of nursing. Always break the suction before you detach your baby from your nipple. Air dry your nipples, go braless if you need to. Take a hot shower, massage the breast. If the sore breast becomes mastitis, rest. Take the following supplements every four hours. Garlic, thyme, vitamin C, grapefruit seed extract, and a quart of clear water. Use hot compresses, breast pumps, as long as you're making sure those flanges are sterilized, and raw cabbage leaves, yeah. So that should take care of it. Get well.